Hello Kalanik friends, so another video finding color on my channel and today you will see all the work submitted for the prompt uh, clocks or watches. Uh, we have 85 illustrations for this prompt, quite impressive number as well. And uh, there are a lot of various artists, uh, but maybe um, the most popular for this prompt uh, turn out to be pictures by Kirby Rosanes. Uh, then maybe second place goes to Circle of Life. Also there are a few illustrations by Joanna Besford and um, Lulu Mayo, Hannah Carlson, uh, Fabiana Atanasio. Uh, there are pictures by Rita Berman, um, Jasmine Beth Beckett Griffith, one illustration only by Anastasia Kolderva, the one that I showed last time. Uh, so quite an interesting gallery and of course a variety of clocks and watches uh, starting from uh, hand watches, uh, then table clocks, um, wall clocks, uh, tower clocks. And of course, our glass, uh, we agreed to include those in this um, prompt as well. Uh, so, what I have colored, as you can see, I decided to color in Kirby book, a world, Walls Within Walls. And by the way, there will be several versions of the same illustration in the video, um, but they all look differently. And it's interesting, as always, to see different versions of the same picture. Um, usually, uh, Kirby illustrations are rather detailed and they take uh, quite much time to complete. Uh, but this one, surprisingly, was rather simple. Uh, not, not many details on it. And it, it looks nice, as you can see, it has... Um, autumn vibes. I felt like, um, don't know, to use these colors, autumny, uh, peaceful, and everything colored with pencils, mostly polychromous, little bit of uh, Durant Light Fast. I like how it looks, and I enjoyed coloring it, and I thought why I didn't color it earlier because it's rather simple illustration. So uh, that was my picture. And now let's uh, have a look at all the submitted works and there is one challenge for you. While you're watching, uh, try to find all the clocks on all the pictures because on some illustrations they are really small. And so I'm curious whether you'll be able to notice them all. Um, it would be nice if you leave me in a comment. <laughs> um, okay, let's go.
that was our gallery of works uh, for last week's prompt clocks, uh, watches. Uh, thank you everyone who joined this challenge. And now, as always, let's see what prompt we'll get for the upcoming week. The number of prompts is getting lesser and lesser in this box. I don't put new ones anymore, so I decided, I decided we should finish all these that we have. And so, as always, I'm curious what we'll get this time. Let's find out. Finally, long-awaited kangaroo prompt. Yeah, at some point I I thought that would be two little illustrations for this prompt, and I took it out from the box. But then people started writing me and asked me to include to put it back, and so it was back, and now we've got it finally. <laughs> I know that I don't have that many illustrations for this prompt. I know there is a picture in Circle of Life with Kangaroo and in another book with mandalas by same artist. And I believe I have an illustration by Selina Fenick uh, from her Australian uh, themed illustrations. And that's what I can remember at the moment. I have a couple of pictures with animals, uh, but it seems to me there are no kangaroos in those books. Anyway, <clears throat> I will look through my collection and hopefully we'll find some other books as well. And I'll see you in a second. I'm back, friends, and what I can say, surprise! I have found more than three illustrations that I remembered. Um, of course, three is also more than enough, but I always like to have a choice um, to choose illustrations uh, depending on my time, on my mood, and three is kind of uh, not enough <laughs> for me to choose from. Anyway, let me show what are, uh, these illustrations are. The first one, of course, Circle of Life by Mil Pomeni, and this picture where we can have different animals and kangaroo among them. So, those who kept saving this illustration for this prompt, uh, the time has come. <laughs> now you can color this picture. Another book by same artist, Nature Mandalas. And we have um, a very beautiful mandala with different, I believe, Australian animals and kangaroo as well. This one more detailed, I believe, uh, but beautiful. So then I decided to check this book, The Nature Mandala by Cynthia Emerly, and yes, there is a picture with kangaroo. Uh, this one more simple, more classical mandala <coughs> with uh, just adding uh, some kangaroo in it. More simple in design, less details, but it um, suits for this prompt. Uh, that's the illustration that I remembered, that I have. Uh, though I confused the artist. I thought it's by Fili Selina Fenick, but turned out it's by Neleke Schumacher, uh, Hollow Moon Art. It was drawn at the time where, when there were fires in Australia, and many artists um, provided pictures to support Australia. They drew some illustrations, and I believe this one is one of those pictures. Mm, very beautiful. Uh, very handsome guy, Angel. 
and kangaroo and some uh, landscape behind nice picture love it uh, then I decided to check uh, Kelly Gorman's alphabet book uh, K of course and here it is kangaroo we have cute picture very small this is accidental uh, then I found this illustration by Sherry Lafont. I believe same theme um, like this girl angel trying to protect uh, kangaroos a nice picture as well and the last one is uh, from Wild by Nature coloring book by Leslie Smitheringale and again very nice illustration how could I forget about this one a girl kissing with kangaroo and besides kangaroo we have only part of his body so love this one too so surprise I have quite a choice and really nice illustrations so maybe um, uh, you too when uh, looking through your collection surprisingly we, you will find some unexpected illustrations uh, with this animal I hope we'll have um, uh, more illustrations uh, more variety not just a circle of life pictures um, so I'm curious anyway we'll be waiting for your works and um, that's all for today see you next time bye